Now this one, you're gonna make me blush. So hi, my name is Craig Cap. I'm a clinical associate professor of computer science here in the computer science department. I teach mainly in our undergraduate program. I teach intro to, introduction to computer programming, introduction to web design, introduction to computer science, and a special topics course on video game design. I am convinced Craig Cap is actually an angel. He's probably the most caring professor I've had in my college career. He's always there to help, and he wants his students to succeed in his classes. He finds a way to make the lectures entertaining and is always well prepared. Overall, a really nice person too. A plus, 10 out of 10, would take always. That's very sweet. It's very nice. Um, I try really hard to work with each one of my students and to give them uh, the abilities and the skills in order to succeed in computer programming. So it's, it, it means a lot when students say things like this. Best prof in NYU. <laughs> I don't know. There are four thousand of us here. I don't. I don't know if, if we I, they can make this statement. Although I it, I'm very humbled that that students would feel this way about me. He will make sure you get an A. I can tell you for sure. Not all students who take my class get an A, but students who put in the work, and attend the extra credit, and really show that they are trying to, to better themselves and to study the content tend to do very well because they're putting in the, the effort. And I'm happy to put in the effort with them to help make that a possibility. Craig is a brilliant and enthusiastic professor and overall awesome guy. You will be remiss not to take one of his classes. He is extremely friendly, chipper, patient, and engaging. Some people are just born to teach and he is one of those people. I think that's, again, very nice of them to say. I've, uh, I've been teaching for a long time. I taught my first college class in 2000, so it's been 16 years that I've been in front of students and um, I'm really glad that, that this experience is something that students enjoy, and I love being in the classroom too. It's it's the best part of my day, working with my students. Now, come on. <laughs> All right, now this one you're gonna make me blush. Great professor, class is always very well organized, and the professor is super helpful and approachable. Also, he is crazy handsome. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I Again, I, I appreciate it. It's, it's not why you're coming here. You're coming here to learn to learn about computer programming, but um, I, I'm, help, I'm happy that students say that I'm well organized. I pride myself on that, making sure my, my materials are available and clear and easy to understand, and, um, and I try to be as approachable as possible. I don't visit Rate My Professor on my own. Um, sometimes students will tell me about it, and I kind of laugh it off and cringe. I, I did look at it when I received the information about me winning the, uh, the highest rated professor this past year. Um, I think it's good for students to have a place to be able to discuss issues around professors in particular courses. Um, I could see how it could easily be abused as well, um, but I also feel that students here you know, really take their education seriously and getting all the information they can about the professors they'll be working with is uh, it's very important. So that YouTube channel is probably from when I was um, finishing up my graduate work. Um, I have a graduate degree actually from here at NYU um, in interactive media and software design. And that YouTube channel showcased projects that I was working on during grad school. So there are some crazy digital art installations. There's one where there's these, uh, these balls that are falling from the ceiling, these virtual balls, and you have to grab them using motion detection. I have some uh, that use augmented reality where we superimpose digital content on top of physical items. So they're all kind of very geeky demonstrations. They're nothing, nothing very fun, I would say. I'm really into this idea of creating software that the user can participate with, especially with gestures and with their whole body. So uh, those ch YouTube videos kind of showcase some of the possibilities of that kind of software. Of the comments I saw here, I think the ones that I really find that I am conscious of and I, that I really work on are comments such as um, trying to be helpful and approachable. Certainly I try to be as accessible as possible to my students and also being organized. I try to make sure my material is well published and complete and available to students whenever they need it. Um, so I would hope that I would write something like that. Also that I like to think I can somehow boil down difficult concepts into clearer descriptions for students who may not naturally come to computer programming. So I guess that's what I would, 
I would probably write for myself. Thank you.